YouTube was good. Back with another video. Today I'm about to be. Look at that pasta in the pan. That should look good as fuck. First tenders. We're gonna let them things thaw. I'm gonna catch you guys tomorrow. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Alright, so now that the chicken has defrost, I'm about to get it out the refrigerator. Pull it out right now. So here's the chicken. All right, so now I'm about to marinate this chicken. So you're gonna wanna get like a plastic bowl. Let me show you guys what I mean. So, got this little plastic board right here. All right. So, look at it. Got the chicken right here. See this shit? I'm finna wash it a little bit. I ain't never really washed my chicken before, but like, it's been this little nasty flavor in my chicken that I need to get out, so I'm gonna wash it. See that shit? Okay, so now we're about to add these flavors. Something real simple. Got this salt. Then we're gonna put the salt up in there. Oh shit, I put too much. Bro, I put too much salt. Oh. Okay, so I got the chicken, got the salt. I'm about to put a little salt up in here. Not too much. Then we're gonna put the salt up in. Not too much salt. Then we're gonna get some pepper. Yiddy. Alright, so I got the pepper. Pepper. Some nice pepper. Next, we're gonna use some minced salt, minced onion, yes, onion ring. Onion ring had that boy on you. What's wrong with me? Alright, so, so that's it, boom. See? Boom, just like that. Just like that. <clears throat> that's it for the seasonings. Next. The sauce, you feel me? This is Filipino, Filipino style adobo finishing sauce. Cause you know I'm a finisher. I'm gonna finish. I don't finish last. <laughs> so, Not a lot though. That was simple, man. You don't need too much. Close this. Close this. Clean this shit. Shake it. Put your finger in. Alright, so we're gonna wait like about like 30 minutes to an hour. Then, um, you know, I'm 
know, I'm gonna make the food. I'm gonna show you guys how I make it and everything. I'm gonna, it's gonna be really, really nice. Really nice. Yes. But usually I, um, usually let my chicken marinate for about a day and then I cook it. Just so, uh, you know, I'll let the, all the seasoning seep into the chicken and get nice and flavorful. So yeah, I'll just show you guys, you know, when I come back, you know, see it, you know, you can't really taste it, but, you know, if you could taste it, you really love it. So yeah, I'm about to show you guys. We're gonna see you next. We're gonna see you next clip. Is now the chicken's been marinating. We're gonna, you know, bring it out. You know, first I put the stove top to two because you want the chicken to be moist and juicy. You don't want it to be dry. Don't put it to three. Put it to two, maybe two and a half. Watch. I'm gonna show you how it's gonna come out. Okay. You just let the pan warm up. Look at that, some nice marinated chicken. Alright, we're gonna let that pan warm up. Usually I use some olive oil. You don't really need too much olive oil. Damn, I heard a weird sound. But yeah, you don't really need too much olive oil. I usually just put it because, you know, it adds flavor in it and makes it more moist. The pan feels like it's pretty hot, so now I'm about to. the olive oil just a little bit oops I put kind of a lot I put some butter can you see that butter right there e butter face So you're gonna get the pan, mix it around. Get the chicken. Light it up. The chicken. Lay it on there. Hear that? That's greatness. That's greatness being made. You hear that? Hey. Okay, you're going crazy. That's how you make some good chicken. Yes, so this is the final product. Some delicious chicken.
Yes, sir.